Today I don't want to talk to an audience. I want to talk to you, each of you. I want to talk to your true self. Raise your hand if you have an answer when somebody come and ask you, "Who are you?" Raise your hand, please. Good. And now raise your hands if you ask yourself, "Who am I?" And you have an answer. Please raise your hands. Good. Much less, but there's still somebody who can answer that question. So, what's the difference between those two questions? Those are the two questions that seems like. The same because it's all about identification. Is this the difference? Is somebody asks you, and you ask yourself, but it's the same question about identification. Ten years ago, when somebody asked me, "Who are you?" I would be very delighted to say that I am. This C level in this global agency companies, and usually that answer works because they recognize the company names, and they recognize the job title. They recognize how important I am. But one day that answer doesn't work anymore. I met a lady, so after that cliche answer, she keep asking. No, who are you really? I thought she didn't understand what I do in the company, so I tried to explain what I do. I told her that I lead a big teams, work with big clients, doing these important jobs for those clients. But no, she keep asking, "What is your own identity?" I'll tell you the answer later. Okay, I'll tell you the journey how I defined that. I started my whole career as a designer. I love colors. So today I'm talking about colors. What is your true color? I started to ask myself after that question from that lady, what is my true color? What is something that If I remove my job title, if I remove the organization, if I remove the name of the companies, it's still me. What is that true color? Your true color is not your skin color. It also is not your favorite color that you prefer to wear every day to work. But your true color is your essential qualities, your core values that will drive any identification that you will grow to. Let's put it this way: If you are a brand, if you as a person, but you are a brand, what is your brand color? What does that color stand for? When I met that lady, I realized one thing. I realized that me, myself, and most of us, we are trapped inside our job description, our job titles. We are trapped there. When we answer the question "Who are you?", we usually self-identify ourselves by what we do at that moment. The reason why that question is so easy to answer is because you know exactly how to position yourself within a company, within an organization, with a title, and you know the listener. Can recognize that. 
But the reason why the second question, who I am, is so hard to answer is because it doesn't stick to the current moment. Which who are you? When is am? Who am I is the hardest question that we ask ourselves probably every day. And when we are trapped by the present, by the job title, by the organization, by the job description, we only see the present. We only see who we are right now, but not who we are in the future. We cannot see our potential. We are trapped to the present, so it's hard to see the bright future. This is the difference between self-identification and self-definition. So when we talk about a job title, what you do currently, we are identify ourselves. That is self-identification. We associate with things that easily be recognized. But self-definition is not like that. Self-definition is a journey trying to define yourself. And that is the essential quality, the core values that will be with you along the journey developing yourself. Then you have an identification. That's the difference between these two actions. Yeah. So how do we find a color that represents ourselves? As a designer, I want to share with you that there's many different color systems. There's uh, Phantom, CMYK, and RGB. RGB is a, a color system that we use for digital world, for laptops, for digital screen in general. And today I want to present to you a new way of using this color system. I want to present to you RGB as a self-definition color system for the new future, for yourself to help you define you, define who you are. Look into your heart, everyone said so, and then you will find you. Then you will find your true color. This is the heart that I want to share with you. You are a combination of the three basic colors. This is the color system that I want you to use to define your essential qualities and your core values as a person, as a human being. First, R represent for red, represent passion and joy. So define your red, your passion and joy. Something that you can keep talking about endlessly. When does somebody listen? It could be a specific genre, a film, a book, music, anything that you find that you can spend time without knowing that time is spending. The second color is green. Find your green. Green represents hope and patience. Can drive you to develop empathy to yourself. Empathy to other people. And then you can find harmony with your true self and harmony with the environment that you live in. Find your green. And then the third color is blue. Find your blue. Blue represents curiosity and freedom. We all know the blue represents for the ocean. This is where it will take you if you have this is essential quality, you will never stop learning. 
Your curiosity and your freedom will drive you forward. Again, you are not a single basic color. You are a combination of the three basic colors. So when you look at how red and green combine, which is passion and joy combined with hope and patience, you will find a new color, yellow. The color of creativity, energy. If you combine red with blue, which is passion and joy combined with curiosity and freedom, you will find lovely and compassionate pink. If you combine green and blue, that is combine hope and patience with curiosity and freedom, then you found friendly and happy turquoise color. I use this system, and this is my color. My color is creative energy yellow. So my answer to the lady, I answer to her, I am a creative technologist. I, I am passionate with understanding people's insights and technology. I combine those two to connect people together and connect brands with people. That's what I do. It's not about the companies. It's not about the job title. Company and job title come and go, but this is who I am. And I think you can use this to find your self-definition as well. How does this definition help you in growing and develop yourself? The next thing I want to share with you is this model. This is a self-development model was founded by Benjamin Bloom in 19, 1965. It's named us. So it's combined by three elements. The first one is attitude. The second is skills. And the third one is knowledge. It is a powerful model that many companies are using to develop their people and also to verify if that people, if that person fit to the organization and can be developed in the organization. How does this work? Attitude facilitates knowledge. When you change your attitude, new knowledge comes in. And from the other side, knowledge also change attitude. Because when you learn more, you actually find your attitude change. You are more curious. You are more passionate to learn. You see many things that you didn't know. When attitude work with skills, attitude embrace skills, and skills motivate attitude. When skills work with knowledge, Knowledge transfer to skills and skill refresh knowledge. So these models are being used across the world to develop people. How do you use RGB, the color system, to combine with this system for success? If you look at this, developing good attitudes it's a journey that empower by passion and joy. If you can find your passion and joy, then you can enhance your attitude, enhance your self-motivation, self-confidence, integrity, honesty, optimism, enthusiasm, co-operate, and commitment. If you look at skills, Skills, developing just your own skills is a long journey, but it is empowered by green, hope and patience. Only hope and patience can help you learn what is hard to do, what skills you don't have. Put you into a position where you feel unsure that you can do it or not. Yeah. 
And knowledge. Knowledge is empowered by blue, by curiosity and freedom. If you have curiosity and freedom, you have desire to learn, desire to put yourself into the ocean of knowledge, a very, very wide ocean. So, self-identify by who you really are at the present, at every step in the future. But, self-define yourself by your core values, by your essential qualities. It will help you to write your own job description. And maybe you can write your own job title. My Xbox give me that luxury to write my own job description and my own job title. I am very thankful for that. And that's the next thing I want to share with you is find a good boss. Color are reflection of light. You are the reflection of your environment. So if you are any color, you cannot shine in the dark. You have to find a light source. What is a light source that can help you shine? I believe that a workplace, a working environment that can keep hearts, that can help you shine, are a place that there are people with passion and joy working together. That is a play that you have a boss who possess hope and patience to you. And that is a company or an organization with a culture that embrace curiosity and freedom. If you have those three things in an environment, stick with it. Choose the right light source so your color can shine. And a good light source will give you independent freedom and happiness. Độc lập tự do và hạnh phúc. Thank you.